It has nothing to do with Clive. I'm talking about his weak-ass brother Joshua, who was already sick and should have been coughing in fire. Fluff. That kid should have been coughing up a storm if that kid had a cough. Already. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Someone sucking all the aether out of the earth. Make it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Yeah. Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. But we both know that... No buts about it. You already saw my butt. What do you mean? You saw my everything. Why did I have to be naked? Why couldn't I have had pants? <laughs> Ooh, music's cute. <clears throat> Aren't you curious how that person was fire imbued? I guess they could have been blessed, but still. I didn't even attempt to jump. I think Yoshi P might just be a little horny because first we get Clive completely naked and then we get sweaty working out a Stinian. I don't know. I think Yoshi P's uh... There is not a problem. I'm just making an observation. Skipping a jump. It's a minotaur. Hello. I hit dodge. I call bullshit. Gosh dang it. Keep 
hitting lunge, and apparently I just keep fucking it up. There we go. Not what I meant. What? Okay. I'm trying to be fancy and I keep fucking it up. It doesn't seem to do a whole lot unless you actually can manipulate them. There we go. Alright. XP. Money. That was a decent chunk of money, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty big. That was pretty big. Oh yeah, I mean, I think Benedicta was a, a big driving force on the uh, sexualization back, back door. I still made Clive naked, though. Clive could have been wearing pants. I don't know how the pants were a threat. The only time I know that you put people in jail cells naked is when you want them to feel vulnerable. But... It seemed like a weird situation for Clive to be naked. remove any possible threat i don't know i feel like they did that back in the day to bring the prisoner shame i don't know how cloth pants are threatening either way Hiding weapons and such in their clothing. I mean, you can do... They're knocked out. Do a full pat down. But yes. 
You can make a rope out of cloth pants. You're chained up! <laughs> Didn't have to be naked! It's fine. It's fine. Fan service. I understand. Uh, we gotta go this way. Hello, Minotaur. Come on. And friends. Get him. Get him, boy. Ow, I didn't want to be targeting you anymore. Thank you. Interrupted my shit, spiders. Okay. Hi. I mean, I end up locking back onto you. Yeah, okay. All right. Maybe they clean them. Uh, I should probably pay attention. Excuse me. Hello. Ow. Sick of oh, I kept dodging backwards instead of sideways. I thought when they said they were at half stagger, you could pull them down. But maybe I misunderstood that. Someone's welcome to correct me, by the way. Like, am I not doing that correctly? Maybe I don't understand. You only have second, a uh, second or two after Half stagger. Oh, really? Oh, that's kind of lame. Rooted. Well, yeah. Yank them down at 50% of a bar. It's a small window. Oh, so it has to be at a 50. Exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's just not any time after their 50% stagger. It has to be like right when they hit 50% stagger. Got it. Okay. Understood. That's kind of lame. I like it less now. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, 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 bum. I need. I need you to stop moving. That's what I need. I know it's a little windy today, but like, I'm gonna need you to relax. 
I need potions, though. There's one. Do it, Clive. Yeah, see? You got Torgal. What is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Torgal needs you. Hit the wrong button. Good start. Lock onto the lock onto the mage. No, nope. we'll get there eventually. There we go. It's a little little target swapping, and we did it. Charging up this weapon. Come back. Oh, I don't have any potions. Oh, balls. <laughs> no. Oh, it's just getting worse. Thanks, Sid. Still doesn't help me that I have no potions. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. It's raining too. That means Ramu's just that much stronger. I have the wrong abilities equipped. Ugh. Hold on. Okay. Lock onto you so that we can lock onto you. Fuck with myself trying to prep this. Where did you go? There we go. I just wanted to try it out. It does work. potions left. I'm kind of in a spicy situation right now. 
Ah, ha, ha. Oh! I might die here. Yeah. going to waste my time trying to do anything fancy, I don't think. <laughs> it's not going to waste my time. I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. Okay. Dragon in the way. Excuse me. Nope. Okay. Can't see shit. And up. I always hit the dodge for that, but I'm like animation locked. supposed to parry that charge ability. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> I know it needs to be done. I'm just not good at doing it. everywhere oh it's everywhere everything's fine two times but that's okay I think there's some very obvious parry opportunities and I'm just not super great at that down with the dragoon Five seems more tired than when they fought Benedicta.
There you go. Who are those guys? Oh! <gasps> uh oh! Hi, lobster. We getting a Ramu punch? Oh my goodness, the superhero punch. Oh, Torgle! <laughs> Gab, are you like holding a rock? There we are. One of your arms is not very good. Yeah, that arm's a little weak. Gab. Do something, Clive. I've got you. Hey, redemption. I know getting pulled up by that arm must have been painful. But I mean, it's better than the the alternative. I like adrenaline probably makes it numb. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a <laughs> trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. Huh. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. <sighs> but we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Yeah, who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. Tell me your secrets. I'm gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So, find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. <laughs> Damn! So, I don't thank me. Thank God. That is some, that's some tough love right there. <laughs> that is some real tough love. Thank you, Gav. Damn! Yeah, there you go. I know. Well, you really gotta make them address themselves about it. It's kind of like... No birds returning this year. You act like this is what, what you want, but in the their end, is it really... Would you really be able like to? Not. We're running out of time. Oh, you talk! We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. That's a very interesting hair color you have. To where it all began. Huh, weird. What a strange reveal. He must be stopped. Yes, looks familiar.
I've got some unanswered questions, but I saw that one. Okay. I feel like I assume there's some other big twist because they didn't try to hide that one too terribly much. Unable to travel. Oh. I gotta go back to the hideaway. He burns. Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. I've never seen a volcano. Uh, you think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Oh, yeah, Jill! Right. Five's got a lot of trauma to work right. out. Go to her, you fool. Yeah, Sid might not be able to help right, you lot. the lady Enough in their second. life. Goats, come with me. But you yeah. can help yours. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. Welcome, oh, readers. Z so will be with you shortly. Hi, Shin. Thank you for the raid again. Whoa, I've been blessed. Hi, Shin. How was your stream today? Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. If I haven't met you before, my name is Z. I'm a Lunar Fawn VTuber who plays MMOs and Variety. Welcome, welcome. Time. Let's make ourselves scarce. We made it further in 16. <gasps> nice! Jill. I think I'm like level 18 now. 32! Oh my gosh. Moogle! They even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Well, he knows his stuff. Nectar, you say? Clive. Nectar the Moogle. So it would seem. You can just magically speak Moogle? That must mean you're pure of heart. That sounds painful. Okay, so we can just magically speak Kupo. Clive's the dominant for Great King Moogle Mog. Confirmed. Clearly. Give us. Give us Jill hair. Give us Jill hair. Give us Jill hair. It's true then. It really is you. I know it kind of looks like Tifa hair, but I mean, I'll take it anyways. Come on. Come on, Yoshi P. It is. Clive. Your life. So are you. I still can't believe it. Oh God. Yeah, they'd give it like just straight up, straight across Your veins. healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Phoenix Gate. So, I'm assuming Jill's going to tell us whether. This power awakened within them, or maybe they already knew about it. But I think Clive would have been more speculatory about going after the dominant of ice if they knew prior. 
Nice skiff. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. Okay, so the can powers can just awaken. It all so fast. We were told that the Ironblood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Glyph. Back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. Fire and ice. Coming in swinging. A change of clothes then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. Naughty Clive. I'll see you soon then, Clive. No naked Jill. Only naked Clive. I should be ready too. We've a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Okay, I'm sorry. Your friend needs to get here. Okay. Where are they gonna put Jill in? I'm interested what outfit Jill gets. We're looking at half a dozen. Many more. Hello. Ah, quest. Chicken. Chicken. Goose. Newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. All right. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you for my pets. You. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps. 
But the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Okay. Any other quests in here? There are. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Ah, it's the bathroom again. Move! I'm trying to run. Oh, there was a person here before. Okay, so the Moogle being by the fire was not. Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Hi, Kenneth. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. Am I serving I soup again? It. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Give Kenneth a hand? Sure. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. More soup. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again. I gotta Clive. go all the way down there. That person sassed me. They told me they were gonna throw me in jail. Okay. Uh, I think the way they get down to the. Nope. Hello. Oi. <coughs> oh my gosh, so many skeezers. in the cells, did you? Kenneth sent me. He thought you might be hungry. Here you go. Thank you. Thanks, Shin. Thanks, everybody. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not, but sometimes folk need locking up and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night and that's not a boast many can make. That's cool. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Are you threatening to throw me in jail again? <sighs> I just gave you soup, man. Boko! Hello! Why can I pet you? Oh, there's another one that's sleeping! Look at all the Bokos! What's this? Oh. That's the way out. Mmm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Yep, fresh chocobo stew. Monster. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway. Thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Isn't the Moogle funny? Yeah. So, fucking funny, the Moogle. Sorry. There you go. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yeah, me. Time to pay your debt. By enjoying this soup. Ah, wonderful. Don't worry. It's hot. That? 
Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. <laughs> I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him it's not, and yourself. I don't think it's the I don't think it's Thank the you. accent as much as just the the kids I squealing about the Moogle. They just I also happen to have an accent. Alright, Kenneth, I helped you. Here you go. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. Did you put anything new in the box? The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Death and destruction. One bug. Love it. I got paid with a hundred gil and one bug. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Oh. There's already a weapon upgrade? What? I just got the other one? <sighs> okay. I mean, I guess the potions are nice. You're robbing me blind, you know. You're robbing me blind. You know, buyer, they have the money. It's better I'll be here. Off you go. Just got me in for a chit chat just to rob me of my money that I just made for delivering soup. Make it quick. So will it be? And I can upgrade it. No scratches, right? Oh wait, did I just craft that? Okay, well, whatever. I guess it's the same yeah, deal. That should do you. Okay. That gold work sash is something I can upgrade. Okay. And what do you want? Battle net is still open, and I can see everybody logging in now. There we go. Going purse weighing you down. You'll not find a better price than that. It is better I'll be here. I didn't really mean to equip those, but that's okay. Well, what do you want? these you can thank me later currently the battle of chains don't give me any additional health so it's actually not that great okay 
So until that can be upgraded, we're gonna wear this, and we're gonna wear that. I also have some of this. What does mastering this do? Increase shift distance. Oh, weird. Okay. I kind of want to save for like an ult. I'm gonna save up. Make it quick. What you want? What am I wearing right now? Right. Okay. All right. Let us save, and then we're on to our last hour. Side quest, real quick. And come back and talk to Gav. <laughs> come in. Someone's in trouble. You. Spooders. Enemies approaching. You know what to do, boy. Get him. There, boy. And a one, and a two, and a hey. Hole in the way. That's pretty toxic, I'm just saying. Alright. Spider's dead. Enemy slain. If you hadn't come along, and yeah, now you can well, go take the dirt back. I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Now you gotta smell all the dirt, Clive. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Uh -huh. All right, time to find the dirt. Certainly enough of it here. One it dirt. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Yeah, I got there we go. A little bit of that dirt. A little bit of this dirt. A little dirt over here. A little 
little bit of that dirt. All right, can I enough. head back now? I better get it back to the hideaway. Back to the hideaway. Bahamil, I brought you some dirt. Excuse me, chimpkins. There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The dirt. The soil. Did you bring it? The dirt. Uh, yes. Here. I love how these people are supposed to have like a greater care for one another. Meanwhile, the guy's like the dirt. The dirt has higher value than that woman. Glorious. When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. Is it a bug and a hundred gill? I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Quest complete. Moving heaven and earth. Ah, it's a lot more than a bug. Dang. Thank you. I think I'm... Well, I don't know. Alright, Gav. Let's go. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care. All right. Wait, hey, make Gav all oh, nervous, crap. Clive. Goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Making Gav all flustered. Cute. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Butter, 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 bum. All right. Three reeds. Rising waters transformed w once fertile farmland into noisome mor morris, rendering it nigh uninhabitable to all but leeches and lizards. What is nearby activities? I didn't even see that button before. Area. It's been 13 years. For this breeze, 
The smell of the grass is just as I remember it. Yeah, I was kind of thinking Clive would get a change of clothes, but I mean, why change other useful armor, I guess? I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I mean, yes, game mechanically, but not visually. <laughs> Thanks to you. Imperial province of Rosaria. 